Hey, it's Frank here with 4D Honeybee, and the mission today is to add a second brood box on hive number two here. It started off struggling about a week behind, I'd say, the other two hives that I have. I took a brood, a brood frame out of a stronger hive and put it in, and since there, it's been going really well. So I'm going to do an inspection of the hive and a, a look for the queen, make sure she's still doing okay, and then if everything looks good, we'll add the second brood box. You'll note that for the first time ever, I am beekeeping in shorts. That's right. It's my first step towards reducing the amount of protection that I'm wearing while I beekeep. In all honesty, I just forgot to bring pants. But anyway, we'll see how it goes. This hive has been pretty calm most of the time, but I'm still going to smoke them because they're going to be in there a long time. So. Smoke in through the front, just a couple little puffs, and then we'll put a shot under the lid, and then we'll get in there and have a look at how she's doing. You can tell there is some good burr comb put up onto the onto the lid there. So it's a sign that they are building, which is good. I'm expecting to see at least 80 to 90% of the frames being worked on or full in one way or another. So let's have a first look here. Wow. There's some nice burr comb. They've put a lot of honey, nectar in that, in that uh, comb. So I will take some of that comb home. Probably taste some of it today. Look at that, it's just completely full of honey here. All right, so just looking at it, I can see bees on all the frames. Looks like they've got honey on the outside and probably some brood on the middle. So I'm gonna try and do a fairly quickish inspection here so that I don't, I don't bother them too much. Part of what I'm looking for is gonna be a good couple of frames of brood that I can transport up to the second brood box. So that way, it'll be uh, more pleasant for them to go up top. My goodness, this frame is heavy with honey. It's just dripping, look at that. I'm doing a really good job here. So you can see that they're definitely ready for the next brood box because if the end frames are full, which these are, then you gotta give them more room to, uh, to make brood and make honey. That's why you add the second super. And there are now a lot of bees in this hive. Every frame is just chocker block full. So this is a brood frame that they're making with honey on the outside and room for brood on the inside. I'm just going to have a look for any eggs or larvae here. Yeah, there's larvae in the middle. Yeah, they're filling that up with brood. Again, I'm going to put cat brood up top. I don't want to put uh, larvae up there. Looking for the queen, she could be on here. This is definitely a frame where she's been laying recently. Okay, the rest of the frames I won't actually pull out of the hive unless they're the cap brood frame that I'm looking for to put up top. Wow, this is a beautiful brood frame, so this will be one of them. The side that I was looking at is completely capped, and as you can see, so is this side. It just looks amazing. There's a whole bunch of burr comb on the top, which is what they've uh, stuck to the lid of the hive. And these bees are doing really, really well. Another beautiful burr, sorry, beautiful. Um, brood frame. Both sides are just packed. 
So these two frames will be the ones that I put up top. I'm going to inspect a few more frames just because the last couple of times I've inspected this hive, I haven't gone all the way to the end here. And I know this last frame is full of honey because I put that frame there. So I don't really need to look at that one, but I do want to look at the next four or five frames. If nothing else, just to have a very quick look to see if there are any swarm cells happening or or supersedure cells. I don't see any here. Again, they're just making brood on this one. The stuff on the bottom is just burr comb, and I'm just going to leave that. I'm not too concerned about that. The stuff on the top I get rid of because they glue that to the lid, and that makes it tough to open the, open the hives. Well, now, since I'm adding the second brood box as well, there's less space between two brood boxes than there is space between one brood box and the base of these uh, of these hives. So, and here I do have a queen cap on the very bottom that's been built. See a bit of drone comb. Don't see any supersedure cells. On this side, what do we have here? Yep, just some brood with pollen. So I'm going to look at this one queen cap here. It's amazing. They even have brood. They have larva on these frames here, on these combs that are essentially burr combs. Have a look at that you see the little white stuff that's larva in there okay there's a queen cap here that I'm gonna have a look at at the bottom it's not much of one I think I have seen this one before and it's empty so there's nothing in it so that's fine we'll get this back yeah look at two more frames and then we'll make the move to add the second box on. It's another good brood frame here. Don't see any cells on the bottom that are concerned. Just one actually. It's like a little queen cup. And there's nothing in it. Again, some people have said I shouldn't remove them if they're trying to make a new queen. But the way I'm treating it is they're not necessarily making a new queen when they make all those all those cups if there's no eggs in them then they're just probably making queen cups in case they need them at a later date so I'm not too worried about those another nice frame that's got some brood in it some eggs some larva I'm always kind of looking for the queen, but I'm not particularly good at spotting her, so. I mean, this hive definitely has a good active queen in it, judging by the amount of eggs and activity and larva, so I'm not too worried about it if I don't see her. If I see her, it's a nice bonus, but it's good to see her just so that you know to treat that frame extra carefully, too. That's another thing, that you don't want to be rolling or squishing your queen. And unfortunately, I tend to squish bees every time I look at them, which is another reason why I don't want to look at them too often. I think once a week is more than enough. Here's another beautiful frame. Wow. This is really what you want to see on a frame. You see how it's got brood on the inside here. This is all brood is the dark, the dark comb and then honey on the outside. And in some cases across the top as well. There's no honey across the top, but there's honey all in here. And that's how they feed their brood. So this next frame I'm not going to pull out because the frame itself is broken. I can see that it's just full of honey and brood. So I'm going to leave that. I'm going to grab my two brood frames, swap them out to the second box, put two new frames in here that will give them some room to work on. And that will be it for this inspection. Okay, so the two frames I'm putting in there, unfortunately, are not drawn out. So they're both plastic, plastic comb. 
So unfortunately I've run out of drawn cone, which would have been nice because it would have been majorly quick for them to build that out. But unfortunately this hive is going to have to work a little harder. What I may do is I may feed them over the next week or two just because they use a lot of uh, energy to make wax. And they've got to make a lot of wax now that you're adding the, the second brood box. So I will probably bring by a top feeder and feed them so that uh, it's a little easier for them to progress. Okay, so I'm going to put those, uh, I'm going to get rid of the burr comb now and then put those two frames in the top box, put the top box on, get rid of the burr comb here on the lid, and then that's it. There's a little fly there. I wonder why they let that fly hang around and not get rid of them. Oh well. At least I haven't seen any spiders this time. Okay, so what are we going to do? Let's smoke them a bit. And then get rid of this burr comb on the top. And smoking them just so that they'll get off the top. So that I don't squish any bees when I uh, grab the burr comb. Come on guys, go away, go away. And that is nice comb, you can see there's honey in it. If it's not honey because it's not quite sealed, then it's nectar that's just about to become honey. Come on guys, get out of there. Usually when you squeeze them into the honeycomb, they find their way out pretty quickly. I'm just gonna help these guys. This, uh, this is really the first sampling of, of uh, honey that you're going to get from these hives and it's a little, a little, um, a little watery because uh, it's not quite at the right sugar content because they haven't sealed it there. But it's just amazing to, to have that first taste right off the burr comb. Come on, go away, go away, go away, go away. second brood box on, put the empty frames on there, get rid of a bit more burr comb, and this is done. Come on guys, I don't want to squish it. Come on, move on, move on. So here are the two brood frames that are going in. We'll just have a quick look for the queen here. But I will take the burr comb off the bottom of this as well because um, if not, that burr comb will hit the frames below and they won't seal properly. If I find my hive tool, I would do that since I don't have a hive tool. Just go manual. Wow, this one is really heavy. Well, this one's just got honey on it. It's gonna have to do. I'm gonna put this on the outside. I thought that was a a, draw, a uh, brood frame, but it's a honey frame, so I will put that one on the outside, and then we'll just have to deal with one brood frame up here. Whoa! Sorry about that. I'm gonna rub a bunch of them off there. Sorry, guys. All right, now a hive tube. 